So welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending June 22nd, 2012. Lots of little things this week, starting with a failed plan by the prefectural government of Hiroshima uh, to reclaim some, uh, some land in Tomonor I'm sorry, Tomonora, which is a harbor in the prefecture, featured in Ponyo. Basically, that is a real place in Ponyo, that seaside town. And there was some plan to basically build a bridge and reclaim some land from the uh, from 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 the, uh, the the ocean, and some of the residents opposed it because they said it wouldn't be as, as pretty. And apparently, that has now been that plan has been abandoned. There will be no bridge. Uh, unfortunately, that you know, building the bridge would have improved drainage and reduced traffic uh, congestion. So they're going to live with worse conditions. So it'll be prettier. I guess. Um, okay. So that's what's happened, arguably because of Ponyo has definitely pushed that decision. So another example of anime affecting the real world. Meanwhile, there's an Evangelion celebration uh, to be going on this summer. Uh, the official website for the Evangelion series announced there's going to be a stamp rally. Basically, they're going to offer stamps in different places around the world. And if you collect these stamps at all these different locations then you will get um, uh, some special prize, which they haven't announced yet. So you have to get the stamps of Shinji, Rei, Asuka, and Mari at the Tohan booth at Francis Japan Expo, uh, the Pop-Up Museum in San Francisco, the, the J-Pop Summit Festival, the Eva Keyframe Illustration Exhibit in China's um, ICAC, the International Comic and Animation Convention, and the Evangelion Store in uh, Shiodome, Tokyo. So basically, you have to travel to all these places around the world, and then you actually have to submit your passport along with these to prove that you actually went there, and then they will give you a, a quote, ultra special present, end quote, to be announced at a later date on the official website. So definitely, big fans only need apply. In other uh, Evangelion news, I mentioned this pop-up museum. This will be a special two-day art exhibition as part of the J-Pop Summit Festival in San Francisco. Uh, to be held August 25th and 26th. So if you can get down to San Francisco in the beautiful state of California, uh, five bucks US will get you in. And you can see original concept production art, character drawings, blah, 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 from the various Evangelion rebuild films. So also display you know, books and CDs and collectibles and so forth and so on. So if you're available, that might be a good thing to do. So, moving on to another giant robot franchise. The Gundam Model Builders World Cup is heading to the U.S. And there will be um, semi-finalist rounds to be held at uh, Anime Expo, Otakon, and the New York City Comic Con. That's June, July, and October of this year. Semi-finalists in this will uh, join winners for Best in Show for the rounds already held in Sakura-Kan, Anime Central, and Akon. Uh, and then that will be used to determine the, uh, the order for the competition finals. So if you like to build uh, Gundams, that would be a good thing to, uh, to check out if you want to go ahead and do that. Pretty interesting. See here, uh, meanwhile, Viz has announced, speaking of Anime Expo, that they will host Masayuki Ozaki at Anime Expo this year. He's the producer and co-creator of, of Tiger and Bunny, uh, as well as uh, uh, over uh, in charge of overseeing Zeta Gundam, Inuyasha, the final act, Gintama, the movie, Dinosaur King, and many others. So that's pretty darn cool. Uh, they'll also have a, a panel there with much of the English dub cast for Tiger and Bunny. So if you want to check them out, head over to Anime Expo. Let's see here. Uh, speaking of Eureka 7, the, the J-pop band Flo will be performing the new opening theme song for Eureka 7 AO. They did the original theme song for the original Eureka 7 TV series. So if you're interested in that, that's where you can go and, and, and you, you'll be able to get more uh, of that kind of music in the opening theme song, which is pretty nice. So your Strike Witches news. A couple of Strike Witches news stories this, uh, this week. The official website has announced that the, the Strike Witches film on Blu-ray and DVD will be released on October 26th in Japan, which will come with a 120-page booklet, a vocal CD, and uh, some uh, miniature versions of some art and stuff that are available during the theatrical run. Uh, and early pre-orders will get exclusive content, all that kind of good stuff. So 
Strike Witches film, October, Japan. Meanwhile, the Western Arms Gunnet uh, replica gun retailer has announced that they are taking pre-orders on two replica airsoft guns of guns used in Strike Witches, like official Strike Witches airsoft guns. You can get Charlotte Yeager's uh, M1911A1 pistol, Colt, uh, or Francesca's Beretta M1934, if you'd like. Yeah, uh, they're retailing for about $400 to $500 US each, equivalent, with magazines for about 60 bucks each, uh, plus a badge and illustrations and so forth and so on. So yeah, you can get official Strike Witches guns. Interesting bit of manga news. Digital Manga has launched a Kickstarter project to release the, the manga Unico in English. This is a, an Osamu Tezuka manga that was quite popular many, 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 many years ago. And they're looking to release it over here. So the, the funding goal is $20,500 with a deadline of July 21st. And those who pledge will receive bonus extras, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Unico is about a unicorn with the power to help those around him who love him, and he travels through time and space, different, uh, 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 visiting different countries and making friends, open and so on. Very much a kid-friendly series. Uh, uh, digital, digital Manga has previously done this for uh, the Barbara manga that Tezuka did, uh, as well as Swallowing the Earth last year. So hopefully this will work out. Also in manga news, the manga portal website JManga, which is trying to bring a lot of Japanese manga over here, uh, has kind of been under fire for the fact that you have to purchase points and, and basically buy a subscription in addition to buying the manga itself. So you need to buy issues as well. They've now announced they're offering a, a complete pay-as-you-go uh, plan. So you can obtain points, spend them as needed. You don't have to sign up for monthly points anymore. You can buy 1,000 points for 10 bucks. 1500 for $15 and 2000 points for 20 bucks. So basically, <clears throat> 100 points for a dollar. Pretty, pretty clear. Uh, and that will basically be a little more expensive than it would be if you had the, the monthly subscription. So it's basically a trade off. If you're only going to buy one or two things from J Manga, you'll definitely want to go with this kind of a la carte method. But if you're buying a number of them, the subscription will eventually at some point pay off. But it's good to know that you can now go to J Manga and get a, 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 a manga translated and all that kind of. Good stuff without having to sign up and pay a monthly fee if you don't want to. Rather odd news story here. The world's first Hello Kitty beauty spa has been announced. It will be opening, uh, in, I'm sorry, uh, just opened in Dubai. That's right. It is, quote, a spa dedicated to all your girly needs with gorgeous packages for kids and adults in true Parisian glamour settings, end quote. Uh, it includes a service members for... Uh, service menus for queens and princesses, women and girls, uh, with you know manicures, pedicures, massages, haircuts, food, drink items, snacks, uh, makeup, all that kind of good stuff. So, kind of interesting. Full-scale beauty spa for Hello Kitty in Dubai. Moving back into Japan on Wednesday, Japan's House of Counselors passed a bill that will um, uh, basically... Uh, outlaw the ripping of content, ripping of DVDs and things, even for personal use. Um, also impose a, a, pe a specific penalty on the act of downloading copyrighted material without permission. Basically, it's already illegal. Now they're saying, here's what the actual penalties would be. The limits uh, are uh, a max of two years in prison and about $25,000 in fines. By the way, those maxes are very rarely actually hit. Those are the extreme cases. So they're basically saying... You're never going to get five years for this, and you're probably never going to get two. Uh, and you're never going to get, get charged $25,000 for it either. Uh, there's also an, an obligation to educate minors on illegal download prevention. So Japanese will get more ads encouraging them not to pirate stuff, because we know how well that works. Moving on to um, actually a uh, related news story. Uh, Hiro Kanzaki uh, reported on his Twitter um, uh, account last month that he tried to upload some of his Hatsune Miku uh, uh, remixes his actual Hatsune Miku you know, songs and stuff and so forth to the Nico Nico video streaming service, basically the YouTube of Japan. And he, he was blocked from doing so over copyright concerns, except the fact that he actually made those remixes and did those songs using the Vocaloid software. It's all his actual stuff that he was uploading. So he was able to actually 
do that and uh, you know, get it resolved, but it just kind of took a while. So yeah, um, and just so you know, in case you're wondering who this guy is, he was the original illustrator for the Oremo series of novels. Uh, he, he's been a character designer, animation director, and animator for Eureka 7 AO, Hero Man, Oremo, other stuff like that. So industry insider. Uh, kind of funny, and he's he said basically he's not going to try even try using Nico Nico to upload stuff anymore. So unfortunately, the copyright protection stuff even even uh, caught authorized material and drove at least one person away. Also in Hatsune Miku news, uh, Google Chrome Japan made an advertisement u using Hatsune Miku, and it has won a Bronze Lion Award at the Cannes Lions International Festival of Creativity. So basically, uh, a, a Advertising award for a Google Chrome ad featuring Hatsune Miku. So that's quite nice seeing that happening. Let's see here. Uh, other little bits of news. Uh, Rie Tanaka's fan club in Japan has been announced it will shut down due to varying circumstances. One of those circumstances might be the fact that Rie Tanaka just got married. So there's probably going to be some consolidation going on there. Not too surprising. Uh, moving on to some of the um, slightly weirder news. Here's something I, I can't quite understand, and I'm looking forward to, to diving into it more to see what's going on here. Um, on Monday, the, Okayama, the, the, the police in Okayama arrested a 40-year-old man uh, in Kobe for allegedly, allegedly distributing obscene images. Uh, he was charged for selling three illustrations off his website to another Okayama man uh, for a total of $19 U.S. equivalent. Um, according to the police, he admitted his guilt and said he wanted money um, because apparently the public exhibition, physical or electronic distribution, or possession with the intent to distribute of obscene documents or images is illegal under the penal code, with a maximum um, sentence much like the sentence I described earlier. Um, but the, the definition of obscenity is, is undefined. So he couldn't sell pornographic images? But... Plenty of pornographic images are being sold in Japan. Maybe there's a difference between obscenity and pornography? I don't know. It's, it's strange. And there's been no information here explaining exactly what's going on. Uh, also interesting that this, the suspect has, has already admitted his guilt. Kind of strange. I don't know what's going on there. So, who knows? But just FYI, that happened. Uh, Yuki Kajiura, the composer who did music for, oh gosh, Madoka Magica, Fate Zero, Tsubasa, Dot Hack, Noir, Karno Kyokai, um, the uh, Flying Dog label, label of Victor Entertainment has announced they're going to be releasing her Fiction and Fiction 2 albums on the iTunes stores in America and Europe. So if you want to get those albums, you'll be able to get them right there on iTunes if you want to. So that's quite awesome. I actually have Fiction. It's a gorgeous album, so that will be very, very nice. Um, uh, she will actually be at Anime Expo this year, so you can actually hear her there. Pretty cool. Meanwhile, other little stuff. There is going to be a new GTO spin-off manga by the original author of GTO, focusing on Ryuji Danma, um, uh, Onizuka's close friend and drinking buddy uh, from GTO the early years, will be uh, the focus of this new GTO uh, spin-off work that will be in Weekly Shonen Magazine. Um, that's about all we know about it. But hey, a GTO spin-off. Cool. A couple other final things. Let's see here. The, uh, Eric Beckham, the founder of G-Kids, has stated that the ongoing Ghibli film retrospectives, where they're showing various Ghibli films around, uh, are currently on track to gross a million dollars by year-end. That's gross, not net profit. But that indicates a good amount of interest in those films. Uh, they've been showing only yesterday, Totoro, Nausicaa, and others, New York Film Festival, uh, Film Festival in Portland, things like that. And the program is, has been, is booked solid um, all the way into 2013. So going very well. Glad to hear that, that uh, Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli in general are, are still bringing people into theaters. Let's see here. Uh, finally, two odd bits of news. Uh, if you've heard of Sengoku Basara, uh, a recent anime series based on a, uh, an action game franchise, there's going to be a live-action television show next month uh, starring Gat, the singer and occasional voice actor. Yes, and who, uh, big J rock star. Uh, so he's going to be there as Oda Nobunaga, and it will also include uh, Kento Hayashi and Kohei Takeda, 
who work in other stuff like that. Kento is in Arakawa Under the Bridge, for example. Um, so that's pretty cool, actually, that they're going to be a live-action version of that, and they're going to be doing that. I'm curious to see how the special effects will work out, but that's interesting. Finally, um, a new anime-focused, anime-dedicated television station is going to be launched in Japan called Ginga TV. To begin airing um, this October on UHF. UHF station with digital uh, broadcasts av um, available. It, it, it describes itself as the first terrestrial television channel specializing in anime. Planning to broadcast anime, local news, anime-related educational programming, so maybe Sleeping with Hanako, I don't know. Plus uh, programs on voice actors and anime theme songs. Uh, they said also the channel plans to feature uh, socially created anime programming made by the public, whatever that means. And they also plan, plan this is what's more important to us, to distribute this programming in, in English as well as Chinese over the internet. So we should actually get some of this stuff. So this is important, not just because it is uh, 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 another avenue for releasing anime in Japan, but the fact that these programs on voice acting and theme songs and so forth could actually be translated and available to us. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, you know, nice to... Uh, nice to see that. I think that's certainly a, a, a good step forward for anime in general. So that is it for us for this week. Thank you for stopping by. See you next week on the Friday Anime Buffet. Take care.